Okay, let's do a trade recap for the week. Um, just a little video uh, talking about what I saw this week and what happened to me. Um, so um, June 16th, um, 2017, uh, this week I entered three trades. Uh, one in TD Ameritrade, one into Schwab, and then one into Nike. Um, all of them trading a similar breakout strategy. I've done a video in all three. Um, when I first entered them, why I entered them. So, um, sorry about the blue lines here. Those are just session breaks. Um, that's great. Uh, you know, getting in here, buying that breakout. Anyways, um, so the last two days, as you can tell, I've been absolutely crushed in Nike. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can learn from Nike. Um, and get this underway here. So uh, the news was released here, and this is essentially what happened when the news was released. Um, as you can tell, we have a gap down in the morning. Look at the five-minute chart here. News was released this day that they were switching up their strategy a little bit, reducing the number of uh, apparel items or you know number of um, things that they're selling by 25%, um, and, and switching their focus to um, 10 key cities, um, and they also noted that um, they are trying to ramp up their turnaround time on product design. So um, how quickly it goes from an idea to an actual product. They said that they're, that's getting faster and faster. Overall, it didn't seem like that bad of news, but uh, apparently Wall Street didn't like it. And, you know, I'll have a conversation with my dad later today and uh, try to figure out um, why that was. Um, but few quick points to note, you know, if we draw on the first five minute chart, if we draw a line at the bottom here and we go short, um, once we see two red candles in a row at the break of this line, you know, we would get all this move in right there. Um, similar, you know, same thing here, you know, you get this entire move in. Um, now, you know, here, you know, most of the move happened pretty quickly, so say what you will, but Essentially, I got out of Nike today, um, pretty much at 51. Um, unfortunately, you know, it was um, early on in the morning. I got out around in here, and I reduced my position. I did not exit all the way because, you know, I got in someplace around here. Uh, I think we broke this high, and then I got in. So, um, you know, I'd say I took a six and a half percent loss on this one. I was not happy about it, and all the losses came this day and this day. I had a trading plan. Um, but, you know, trading plans don't really take into account gaps. So, that's the thing. This one's definitely, you know, it's definitely a bummer. Um, I don't feel too good about it. Uh, and, you know, I'll try to learn what I can from it. News killed me on this one. And, uh, you know, I was bullish on, on Nike maybe when I shouldn't have been. Because if we look at, uh, well, you know, I was bullish on Nike because of the breakout. I liked it. Now, I wasn't as certain on Nike's breakout as I was on the TD Ameritrade breakout and Schwab breakout um, and even Key Big breakout. You know, I trade they're all the same breakout that I traded um, and, and Nike really failed me here um, with news. So that's a thing. And I do think it's interesting here in the five minute, this huge volume bar here is, it, it, that's quite interesting to me. Um, so who knows what Nike will do going forward. But if you look at the retail sector ETF, I mean, what happens, you know, we have a huge gap down, you know, this lines up with the first day of news, you know, a huge gap down on the retail. Um, and if we go back to Nike, you know, same thing. And then look at this massive gap there. That's that's huge, right? And if we measure from here to here, I mean, it's, it's a two plus percent gap. So, um yeah, I took the loss on this one. Still hold a small position in case it does rally back up. Um, and I, you know, I don't really care about the six percent loss because you know what I have like nine hundred dollars in it. That's like a you know sixty dollar loss altogether, and I only reduced my position, took a thirty dollar loss. So I'm not worried about the money. I am worried about the consistency in my trades. Though. I need to make sure that um, I can prove myself. And I don't like this. You know, everybody loses money, but I don't, I don't like this. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at the TD Ameritrade um, trade that I went into. Again, you know, this is um, 
trade I took earlier this week. And yes, I do know this trend line is not perfect. Ignore it. You can make it look much better depending on the time frame. Um, so I got into this trade and for the most part, it's been doing pretty good for me. Um, I think we're seeing some healthy consolidation here. Um, I will say the day that this gap down like that, I was very hesitant, uh, um, so to speak, uh, not hesitant, but I was, what does this mean? What does this mean? You know, I was very concerned about this gap down that we saw, um, on that day there. And if we look at the five minutes, um, let's see, so that gap occurred here and I was pretty hesitant on it. You know, I was like, what do I do? What do I do? So it's something I definitely need to research, um, gaps, uh, you know, this, this gap up really, you know, benefited us. Um, and this gap down right here really hurt me. So say what you will. Um, and I once read that gaps have a tendency to fill. So I'm really hoping this gap here never fills because, you know, that means it'd be going down. I wouldn't like that. But uh, <laughs> um, so if we, okay, so if we look at, if we look at this gap right here, one thing I did notice was look at this nice um, head and shoulders pattern right here. You know, it's not that good on this shoulder right there, but you know, maybe, maybe you say, Brandon, you're full of shit. That's not a head and shoulders pattern. Okay, that's fine. Um, I just saw it and, and I thought I'd, I thought I'd, you know, draw at least draw that neckline right there, whatever you want to call it. Um, I will say something interesting to note was um, kind of a dropping baby here, or was abandoned baby pattern here. Um, you know, we got a large doji, I call that a pinball if you want. Um, it's coming on some decent volume there too, or maybe I guess, I guess this would be that volume there, but you know, next bar is up with good volume. You know, decent, decent, entry signal for a reversal trade. Um, however, RSI is not an extreme low. So I don't know. I was just trying to point out a chart pattern here that I saw that I've, that I've learned about once or twice. It's a little loose, but it's there. Um, and, and you know, if you say that, yes, this is a head and shoulders, you know, last shoulder being there and then bam, look at that. That's a huge, massive run. That's in a day. Um, and we did close that gap, which is great. Um, and hopefully, you know, this is just a little bit of uh, consolidation here. I'm hoping. Um, so we'll see. You see smart money stepping in here on the sell side. I'm not liking that. See, they're selling, selling, selling. Um, so say what you will about that. Um, that is something that I need to look more into. You know, why is we getting such large selling volume at close here? Um, so, you know, and for this to be bought up with little price movement, you know, I might say, you know, one institution is selling and one institution is buying. Maybe, I don't know. You know, we get much bigger price movements on small, like this is a pretty large move on, you know, maybe a third of the volume of this one and we don't get much movement at all here followed by a nice volume bar. In this, there's a green bar here, kind of hard to tell. Um, you know, for the final bar, I don't know. All I'm trying to point out is this, this volume, it's interesting. Um, so, you know, I like my TD Ameritrade um, trade at the moment. Uh, you know, I think it's uh, showing some consolidation and I think that's healthy. Uh, I'm concerned about this gap getting filled maybe. Um, I don't know if I should be, but uh, just throwing that out there. And if we look at the one hour here, I've drawn this little, uh, this little, you know, area right here. I have back tested it further. I just have it right here and, you know, we, we are not breaking this. So that's really good. Um, I like that. Uh, and as you can see, ever since we've broken out, you know, we have, I guess right here, you know, we've never really gone back below this line. So it looks healthy. I like it. Um, I'll try to speed this video up some. If we look at Schwab here, trading a similar breakout on Schwab. Um, you know, getting in around here someplace and a little bit of consolidation in here. I like it, you know. A multi-day bull flag, maybe you could say, and then this is the you know the consolidation of the top here. So hopefully, I have a breakout to the upside with uh, some nice volume. Um, uh, RSI line, RSI lines here are a little sloppy just because I drew them on a different time frame, most likely. Uh, so that is what it is. Um, watch this green line here. I mean, that's that's on the you know if we draw the break right here and on over there. So I'm hoping to see some some bounce up here. Um, I do not like to see rejection at 61.8, which we did see. So um, this one I need to watch closely. Uh, you know, the RSI 
getting rejected at 61.8 is not a sign that I like to see. Um, so we need to move higher here. Um, and when I say 61.8, you know, a little, you know, give it a little leeway, right? Um, so Schwab is a pretty similar setup to, you know, what we saw in TD Ameritrade, what we saw um, in KeyBank. Um, so this one looks okay as well at the moment. Uh, and then let's go ahead and switch over to the key bank. Um, a little bit of a looser pattern here. You know, we don't, this, this definitely is not the longest, you know, chart pattern trend line here. Um, we're on a daily and, you know, it didn't retrace too much. Um, what was this from 19 to 17? So say what you will. Um, I got in this one a little bit late and I'm still not really up much money whatsoever uh, if I recall um, So hopefully this is a bull flag with Consolidation occurring right here, and we will see um, RSI line here appears to be okay um, You know we have definitely more than three points um, And you know we've been catching some sort of support along that trend line there so if we extend this out there, you know, anytime we break above this line, it is meaningful. So I would like to continue to see that and um, a C RSI stay above that line. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna watch KeyBank closely because again, you know, this 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 chart pattern does not you know mean that it has large room to run. Um, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the one hour here. Uh, get in on this trade right here. Maybe this is the wrong. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. That was just the wrong equity. I really do apologize about that. I should probably cut that out of the video. But <laughs> so we get this. We get this trend line break. This is on PPC. I got in and out of this trade really quick because my entry, my timing of the entry just wasn't good enough to get um the the run in. And I really like this breakout that we're seeing here. And you know, you do get a nice pop. Um, so let's just measure this. How much money can you make trading this breakout? You can make, you know, if you get it all in past at, at that black line there, and you know, you're getting six and a half percent. If you were to get it all the way from, if you're a very aggressive trader, uh, let's say you got in here, that's a 7.7% return. And what would your stop loss have to, you would have to be tolerant of only a, uh, one percent loss it looks like so that's that's not too bad um, But this is a trade I got in and out of real quick the 2408 to where I got out at um, on this day right here and uh, as you can see we just headed lower so uh, That is what it is. Uh, you know, we did we did go back and we kind of Tested the area in which I actually bought at as you can see again. I didn't get in at the best price um, but nonetheless, these are, these are the trade updates um, for this week. Uh, I, you know, sorry if this video is long, and I hope this is helpful to people because um, you know I'm going to try to learn from this stuff. So there you have it, people. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, and uh, as Eric Mwabe would say, peace and peace and blessings.